Hello everyone, peace of the Lord to all. Uh, you know the Muslims, they are trying, uh, I, fully, I feel sorry for them. They are trying to respond to me about this, uh, my videos. But each time they try to respond, the more they, they make Muhammad go in deep uh, Islam. So let us read this Abdul, he's trying his best. Look, look at this. Uh, remember in the, in the video above, we spoke about Muhammad cleaning his penis with his hand and then he is rubbing his hand with the wall. Alright? which is showing how savage and how dirty Muhammad is. Now look what the Muslims is saying. And this is a brand new answer 55 minutes ago. Amazing that a man who trained in uh, who was trained in Islamic Sharia, which he, you claim you have been trained and uh, qualified to be a judge in Islamic court and yet do not know anything about ablution without water. But of course you forgot that 1,500 years ago in the desert of Arabia where was no water ready available ready available readily available uh, people can be can do evolution with sand or dirt just wait just wait just wait just wait you see I love the intelligence of Muslims how come I forgot this how come someone like me who trained in Islamic school? Brother, we have the biggest beard ever in Islamic schools. All Islamic schools around us, their beard is smaller than the beards of our doctors. How I forgot such a thing? I forgot that you can do evolution with sand, brother, and dirt. You know, it's really funny that you do evolution with dirt and you call it dirt. You clean by the by the dirt. Hmm. Now, first of all, Abdul, just to show you how stupid what you said. Fifteen hundred years ago, in the desert, evolution can be done without water, if there is no water. If there is no water. Now, let us go to the hadith and read what the story. Secondly, I don't care about the evolution. I'm not talking about the evolution, Abdul. Your prophet is rubbing hand which is full with a sperm in the wall. The wall of his house. This is not the desert. Abdul, are you? Are you drunk? Are you drinking too much camel urine as the prophet said? Are you eating seven ajwa a day? Take care of your health, brother. Someone having sex in a house and the house have walls. The hadith says walls. Don't tell me your prophet he take his wife and the wall and they go to the desert to have sex. He carry the wall with him. <laughs> Abdul, uh, first of all, take a beer. Take a beer. I mean, take beer. Take beer. Uh, don't drink beer. Take take a beer. Do you see the word? The word it says on the wall. You see the word between two car, uh, two bracket. This is not existing the hadith. This is why it's been between two brackets. All right. So he wrapped rabbit on the wall. This is the original hadith. There is not even the hand. It doesn't even say the hand, which means sometimes people they might be confused. He wrapped what? He wrapped his hand or he wrapped his penis. But I will go with the Muslims' interpretation for it. Everything you see between the two brackets is not in the hadith. All right, so he cleaned his private part, part with his hand and then he wrapped it, it, supposedly this is the hand, on the wall. And you are telling me this is in the desert? Your prophet, he carry his wife and the wall in the top of his camel and they go to the desert? Uh, now I know why he carried the wall. This wall is used as a towel by the prophet. <laughs> Unbelievable. I love Abdul's. Very intelligent. And look, he's making his text so big. That means he's so angry. Well, Abdul, don't be angry from me. It's your prophet who is doing that. Let us say for the sake of argument, Abdul, just to show you how dumb you are. Muhammad is doing evolution. Do you need to touch your hand, which is dirty, with the wall of the house? Don't tell me this is not the wall of the house. He's having sex with the wife. This is at least a, a wall of somebody. Let us say your prophet visiting his son. 
by adoption. Visiting his neighbor by hijacking his house. Visiting his cousin, the one who raped him. Visiting his son-in-law, the one who divorced his daughters, the sons of Abu Lahab. Any one of them. And then he there he have sexual intercourse. Then he rub his hand, which is dirty, with the sperm in the wall. Do you see the wall, or you are you are you are blind as all Muslims? Mm, you, are, you have a blindness. It's called Islam, brother. So what you said about 1500 years ago is one of the most dummy, stupid answers ever I saw from Abdul, who is smart like you. See, still I consider you smarter than the others. But that's why I'm saying the most stupid answer from a smart like you. So this is not about evolution first. This is about if you want to do evolution, do it. You want to wash your hands with the dirt, do it. But you don't dry your hand from sperm on the wall, Abdul. That is savage and ugly and disgusting. So you can imagine what kind of walls the house of your prophet, how many rooms he have? Huh? Where he do that? In the wall of the bedroom? Unbelievable. Remember the prophet, he used to piss. And he put the dish under the bed. I, do you want to show you the hadith? Don't make me show you. Don't make me. You will be upset. And then a woman, she came to, to, to clean the, 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 the room. And she then she drank the piss of the prophet. And then the prophet, he told her, May Allah bless you. You will never have a pain in your belly again. Really? Just to show you how amazing your prophet is. The prophet had a wooden, a wooden vessel under his bed which he could urinate at night. What? What, what? He put, he put a dish under his bed and he urinate in it and he put it under the bed. So here we go. The prophet, he dry his hand with a sperm in the wall of the bedroom and then he urinate in a dish and he put it under the bed. Like, do you, do you want to try that? And you will see how bad the smell is. Like, try once. To, to, to urinate in your bathroom and don't flush the water and let us see after 15 minutes how your bathroom will smell like. Your prophet, he urinate inside his room and he leave the urinate, urinate inside the room under the bed all night. And then later a woman, there's a story about a woman who came to clean the prophet urine a, a room and she found a dish full of urine, she drank it. <laughs> Are you, are you going to tell me in 1500 years ago people urinate under the, in the dish and put it under the bed? They do that? Why you don't put outside? It's a desert. You, you are the one who said it's a desert. Throw it outside in the desert. The sun second day will kill all the dirt. It's a very powerful sun there. Will kill even the smell of the thing after a few hours. Throw it away from the house. But urinate, why he's afraid to go outside at night? He's scared to go a few meters away from his room? So he urinate in his bedroom in front of his wife, he peel up his penis and, whizz, and then he put the dish under the bed? What's wrong with you, Prophet? So don't tell me 1500 years ago. That's really disgusting. And remember, this hadith is. Hassan, it's good. It's not weak. Don't tell me the Eve. It says Hassan. It's good. Now, let us continue. The brother here, he said, the Muslim brother, he continue, uh, must, must, must know that, that. So anyone, he should as an, have a degree in Islamic law, he should know that. Yeah, wow, that's it. You, you put me in the corner, brother. Now, let us continue. Yeah, you are who you are, etc., etc., etc. You can read yourself, take your time. Now, you call knowledge, well, you mistaken. Knowledge for garbage. Absolutely, I have degrees in Islam, which is nothing but garbage. As usual, so why don't I teach you how to, how to, how, why you don't repeat like, why you repeat it three times? Are you, are you, are you doing Trinity thing? By the way, your prophet, he used to greet people three times. 
Like imagine how stupid this is. You go to someone, he says to him, Assalamu alaikum. Then he said to you, Alaikum assalam, brother. Then you say to him again, Assalamu alaikum. So to him, Alaikum assalam, brother. Then you say again, Assalamu alaikum. Like, come on, man. Are you doing the same? How to, how to, how to? Okay, how to, three time trinity. What how to? Read a hadith. And a hadith. There's a reason as why when one thing has been repeatedly by different people ah the same story repeated by i mean not the same exact story but many stories have the same thing i agree with you that's because your prophet became a vagina consultant brother every woman she have a wet vagina she come to the prophet she asked him about her vagina so it's repeatedly happening right mm. now i want to try your intelligence he said, anyone with integrity, read please with me, he will collect all that was said about the topic. All? Do you know how many books about the vagina in Islam, brother? Do you want me all to post it in one uh, video? There's books. The Khomeini, he said to the Muslim Sunni, you have, لديكم تضخم في علم المراحيض. You have an explosion in the science of bathroom because Muslim Sunni, maybe maybe they have tons of thousands of books about the vagina from the west and down. You want me to post all of this? Are you sure? The book of Kenza al-Ummal alone is a disaster. Brother, don't force me to go there. Now, let's continue. Then he said, <clears throat> wow, that's really powerful. I want you to take a note, please. This is a link, this is a link for the beginning. I want you to focus with me with this. This is a link to the beginning of this hadith. This is the beginning link. Oh, wow. Now, you know, I want Muslims to listen carefully. You see, when you try to refute me, you know that you are not a match. And you know how stupid you will do. I guarantee you that always. It doesn't matter how many times you try. I will go now to your hadith and I will make you so sorry for posting it. Watch. A brother, this is the beginning of the hadith and this is the link you post for us. Anybody can click in there and you can see this is exactly what you post for us. Abu Sa'id al Khudari reported the Messenger of Allah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah pray on him and salute him. There is no such a thing, may, may peace on him. Said, when any one of you amongst you has sexual intercourse with his wife, then he intend to repeat it, he should perform ablution. Man, oh man. Oh man, why you open this topic, Abdul? Why you open this topic? I will make you sorry. You open it, you choose it. So, first of all, your prophet, he said already, if anyone, he want to have, have any sexual intercourse and he finish, he have to wash. So, and you said this is the first hadith. So, why, <coughs> why women, they are coming to him, asking him, if I have a sexual intercourse or I have a wet dream, should I wash? He just already, you said this is the first hadith. The prophet already said, if you have sexual relationship, you should Wash. Hello. Now, as long as you are the one who mentioned this, I want people to my, be my witness. The hadith saying, in this hadith transmitted by Abu Bakr, the words are, which means Abu Bakr is correcting like more, giving more details. The words are, let me move the page here a little bit, sorry. Uh, between the two acts, there should be an evolution. So each time you have sex, you have to do evolution. What do you do? Uh, as, as a brother there, he said, you take your hand, you hold your penis, you clean it with the, you take the sperm in your hand, and then you put your hand, you drop it in the wall. And that is a dry evolution. <laughs> Why? Because there's no water. You live in a house, but there's no water. Yeah, the people there, they live without water. People, they have time for sex, but they don't have water.
they are thirsty, they are dying from, from thirst, but they have sex. And there is no water, to the point they can't even drink, wash their hand. There is no water. Anyway, now, as long as your Prophet is saying to the Muslims, you should wash yourself between two acts. How come your Prophet did not do that? Do you want me to show you? Your Prophet, he used to do have sex with all his wives with one ablution. You believe it? That's when your prophet is a hypocrite. He told the people between two act, between two sexual intercourse, you have to do ablution, which is holding the private part with your hand, as the story there, if you want to do it the same, and rub your hand with the wall. But how come your prophet, he don't do wash after sex, and he go to the second wife, and he do have sex without washing, and he go to the third wife? Let me show you. Read with me, brother. It was narrated by Abu uh, from Anas, the Messenger of Allah, uh, used to go around, uh, go around, whizz, a rabbit, all his wives, and perform one ghusl. You know what ghusl mean? Abolution. One. You just gave us a hadith saying the Prophet said, if a man he wanna have sex. He finished first time and they want to do it again. He have to wash. But your prophet is the last one to follow. And remember, the hadith is sahih. Do you see here it says sahih? So you cannot say it's weak. So a key again, you just prove to us that your prophet is a hypocrite man. He tell his men when you have sex between wives or the same women, if you want to do it again, you have to wash. When he himself, he do ghusl one, he do abolition one. After having sex with all the women, do you see it, Abdul? Do you see it? MashaAllah, brother, MashaAllah. So thank you very much for posting this hadith, because that prove again that Muhammad is a filthy man. And he is a hypocrite. He teaches his men to do something when he do the opposite. And you cannot say to me this is a weak hadith because as you see it says a great sahih. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. So how you explain to me the Prophet he do something and he tell people something else? Why? Why he want the men to be clean but he is still but he is dirty? Why he is telling his men it's, it's a must to do abolition between uh, two acts of sex but he himself he go he have 13 wives? And what does that mean? Your prophet stay without washing for a week? Don't tell me he's having sex with all the 13 wives in one day. Because it says, he used to go around all, did you see the word all? All his wives. Your, your prophet, he have sex with all the wives in one day? You believe it? 13 women? Unbelievable. I don't know what to say. And this Abdul is trying to defend his prophet. So let us go back to the video and see more defense of this Abdul. Then he say, uh, and from 065 and 614 uh, is the narration of this hadith, but only Muslims will only post two parts. Anyone who stands for the truth can read the whole hadith. Well, Abdul, you can watch my video, Abdul. I post the whole hadith. I'm not reading a part. It's shown in the screen as it is. Translated by Muslims, posted by Muslims. So you are again, you fail. Now, so what, you are saying here something. He's trying to say to you, there's two hadith. I mentioned one hadith. But there is a second hadith, which is amazing. Like, how come I mentioned 613 in full? But I don't mention 614 in full. Let, let, let us see why. Why Christian Prince trying to hide that? There is scientific discovery there. Look at this. Look at this, brother. In the Hadith 614, book number 3, it says, uh, A Jewish man, he came to the Prophet. He asked him questions. And one of them is, How I, I ask you about the child? The holy prophet, he became holy now. The one who Allah, he said, I forgive thee for the past sin and the coming sin is holy. How the Quran says he have a past sin, coming sin, and you call him holy. 
uh, the holy god muhammad uh, uh, so I, I i asked you about the child which means the child how we resemble he said the reproductive substance of the man is white which means the sperm and of the women is yellow and when they have sexual intercourse and uh, the male substance chromosome and genes Allahu Akbar take a beer in the hadith it says that read with me please read read this is serious prevail upon female substance the chromosomes and the genes it it, it, it the male child that create Allah degree and the when the substance of the female prevail upon the substance contributed by the male a female child formed formed by the, the degree of Allah the Jew said what you said is true look the Jews is convert not convinced but he did not convert he convinced verily verily you are apostle of Allah then he turned away the messenger of Allah said he asked me about such a such a thing of which I have no knowledge till Allah gave to me star 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 this is top stars now like this is not five stars this is like one million star chromosomes and genes 1500 years ago imagine that the whole hadith read read it in, in like eternity like it would explain about the hand dust why that was said etc and you will give a clear picture on just how nasty the person prince is brother you put me in the corner I do not know what to say I'm going to read the hadith with you chapter which the book number 3 verse number 614 and I will show you Abdul that you are an idiot like your prophet because in the hadith there is no chromosomes and there's no genes and there's no, no genes and there is no uh, uh, no such a thing it's a fabrication did you ask yourself why it's coming between two brackets Abdul this is a translation you posted for me, right? Did you ask yourself why it's between two brackets? Because simply it's not there. The Muslims, they are trying to cover the, the stupidity of their prophet. Because what it's mean, that if the male substance prevail upon the female substance, it is the male child. This is not what science says. Abdul, it's not the female anyway who will make the boy a boy or a or a baby girl you see how stupid this hadith is like the Muslim now they try to fix it but they make it a disaster because look what it says if the female substance prevail uh, uh, if, the, if the female substance prevail then the, the baby will be a child it will be a girl if the male substance reveal prevail the baby will be a boy do you sit with me Abdul when the substance of the female prevail upon the substance of the contrib uh, contributed by male a female child is, is formed so what what is the reason for a female child to be formed that the female substance is revealed now let's see what science says about that who is the one who decide the baby will be a girl or a boy the fact it is only the sperm of the man sperm sperm brother it's not the egg it's not the women it's not substance of the women let me show you read with me Abdul the male himself he provide two kind of sperm sperm which is female sperm and a sperm which is male sperm but both of them they are the sperm of the man do you read with me Abdul uh, Abdul read with me read let us, let us read together all right just to show you that even what you post for me is additional proof that your prophet is nothing but a scam your prophet is official official scammer read with me please everybody read with me you can search by the way by your own so the male sperm cell cells 
swim quicker than the female sperm. Don't take it wrong here. This is not the women's sperm. This is the man's sperm who have a, a, a male sperm and female sperm. What this mean that the male will produce two different kind of sperm cells. So who is the one who produce the, the, the sperm cells is the man. Two kind of them. Those which could create a boy and those which would create a girl. And the male sperm will swim quicker than the female sp sperm. All right. The female sperm will remain alive inside the women for a longer period of time than the male sperm, etc. But your prophet, he said, if the if the women's substance prevail, the women's substance prevail, then the baby will be a girl. Did you see what that? Not chromosome, you know, and. Just to 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 uh, to, uh, to show you uh, additional proof how 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 we can uh, you know expose your prophet more. Read with me this hadith. When your prophet he said the man prevail and the woman prevail. Actually, this is not accurate translation. It's about who come first, and this is the hadith in front of you. The messenger of Allah said, and remember, you are the one who said if you want to talk about a story, mention all the hadith about the story, not only one, right? You are the one who gave me this advice. I'm going with your advice. Here we go. Uh, the Prophet of Allah said, uh, the man's water is thick and white. It's the same as the other one. He says the same. The man's water is uh, it's white and then the women's water is yellow. And then he continued, whichever of them come first, the child will resemble the parents. Which means the male or female. Resemble here is not about the look. Resemble here is about he will become like the mother. Resemble as a female, he will become a female. And resemble as a father, he will be a boy. And who is the one, how he decide, the one who come first? And you are the one who asked me to talk about this topic, which is confirming more that you prophet, but not, nothing but, but a liar. And remember here, the hadith here, it says, Sahih. Which means this is a strong hadith. You can't say to the people in the, in the, in the, in the in underneath there, say this is a weak hadith. You say it's strong. Strong. All of it is strong. That alone is enough to prove to us that your prophet is nothing but a scam. And by the way, if I ever get married, I will never come first. I don't want my son to look like me. That's horrible. I will never do that to my kids. I mean, my, yeah, because it will be a boy, right? But I will, lick, I will let my wife do that. So she will have a baby girl and she will look beautiful like her mother. That's good. Now, at least now I have a, a good advice from the Prophet. Here we go. We learn something good. So don't try to defend your Prophet Abdul. And don't try to say that you know how to refute me. And don't ever try to say... Let me teach you how, 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 because your how, how is like a little puppy trying to talk. Now at the end of this video, I advise Muslims, if you want to have a baby boy, read my books, Quran and Science, it's going to teach you how to have a baby boy. However, if you want to have a baby girl, uh, I advise you to read the same book, but in Kindle, because the book and paper will make your, your coming child uh, a boy. And my book in Kindle will make you a child, a baby girl. The Prophet says so. Oh, what I need to do, just get the hadith. If I can get one hadith from Muhammad saying, read the book of Christian Prince because that will make you have a baby boy. You, you can imagine how many how many Muslims will buy my book a day. Unbelievable. So anyway, uh, uh, Muslims, Christians, trust me, Muhammad is nothing but a scam. If you don't believe me, read my books. It's a challenge for Muslims to read my books and stay as a Muslim. Deception of Allah, very number one, and Quran and science. You can have them both in Kindle or in paper. However, some people, they said to me, we cannot find the book. Uh, I'm not sure why. Uh, just search in Amazon, type Quran and science in depth here, 
and then you will find the list as we see in the front of us so if you want kindle you can enter, uh, order kindle if you want paper you can get paper however i, I uh, advise you to get the paper one because one day you lose your software or etc you know or you close your account with kindle you never know uh, you, or you don't have tablet no more or even computer book i think it's more uh, more valuable to have in your shelf it's easy and you can uh, you can manage to move it around from person to person however i hope you guys you did learn something good and don't forget to post your review in the pe paperback because most of you are posting the review here i don't know why in the kindle but not in the paperback however the same people who post review here they can post it there too and uh, I want to say thank you and I hope you guys are learning and please 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 share the truth which I teach you I don't want to lose my voice over nothing trust me Muslims I'm not making fun of you I'm just trying to show you the truth and the truth hurt and I know when I talk I hurt you and I'm doing that on purpose because the best way to wake you up is to hurt you. But I don't mean to. I don't want really to hurt Muslims. You see, Muslims, they take me wrongly. They think I, I hate them. I don't hate you. I will never hate anyone. I, don't even, I, I will never even hate my mother-in-law if I ever get married. So if you are, if you are a girl and you... <laughs> hate is not in our, not in our dictionary. All right? So think about everything we say. As you see, I provide evidence and proofs and reference for everything I say. I show you in the screen and how you can beat that. How can you? How dare you? By the way, before I finish, um, uh, as I told you before, uh, ABN keep contacting me about coming to join them in the marathon. So I agreed this time to go. Uh, so I will be in September from the 21st to the uh, we will see which date I will be in the in the in, in Trinity channel and I will update you later about it so you can watch live and I hope we will get some uh, a victim I, I mean a Muslim to debate me Christ is Lord Islam is false I mean